Familia zipatazo mia tatu zimetoroka makazi yao na shule tatu kufungwa kwa muda usiojulikana kutokana na mashambulizi ya hivi majuzi katika sehemu ya Lekek Sabuk kaunti ya Samburu ambapo washukiwa ujambazi waliwaua watu watatu miongoni mwao chifu wa eneo hilo Mbunge la Samburu Magharibi na Isula Ale Suda ameshtumu mashambulizi hayo na kutoa wito kwa serikali kutumia mbinu zote kurejesha utulivu katika eneo hilo Taharu Kingali imetanda katika maeneo yaliyoathirika na mashambulizi hayo hali ambayo imefanya kuwa vigumu kwa familia nyingi kurejea makazi kwao. Zaidi ya familia mia tatu waliotoroka makazi yao kutokana na mashambulizi ya majambazi katika sehemu ya Lekek Sabuk kaunti ya Samburu haziko tayari kurejea makazi yao hata baada ya maafisa zaidi ya usalama kupelekwa katika maeneo yaliyoathirika. Sisi tuko na shida kubwa sana ambayo hata hatujui nani atasulisha hiyo hiyo shida yetu. Sisi tumetoroka tuko kwa hii kasenda kidogo hatuna chakula, hatuna ngombe. Kuna mali maishi. Eh uh, ubiasha kile kitu huko. Um eh uh, properties ziko destroyed na bandits. Uh, na pia wamechukua mali yote. So tumebaki kama hatuna chochote katika hatua ya kuepusha mahangaiko ya kibila damu katika kambi zao mbungu ya samburu magharibi na isula lesuda aliwatembelea katika kambi ya loibongare wadi ya losuk na kuwapa msaada wa chakula they have left their homes they have left their farms they are hungry they are living now in centers and that is why as a member of parliament through my own contribution i was able to bring some food for them and also some well wishers i really want to thank them who have reached out Suda ametoa wito kwa serikali kurejesha utulivu katika eneo hilo. What I would just like to request of them is that it be continuous. It cannot be a one day affair so that uh, we may have total peace in this area and also uh, the other security issues that we have around here to be tackled so that people can go back home, children can go back to school and people can go back to their farms. Taruki ngali metanda katika maeneo yaliyoathirika na mashambulizi huko shule za Pora Sepei na Lekek Puki huko Samburu Magharibi zikifungwa kwa muda usiojulikana. Watoto wako kwa shule wanatampa watoto kwa pamoja na wao. Na ile shule watoto wako tu hakuna mtu anaweza kukaa hapo na mtoto wake aende shule. Hii shule ni shule nyingine mbaya sana iko ndani ya wadui. And it's very unfortunate because these children will be behind in their studies. I really hope that peace will be restored here so that the children can go back to school. Wakati huo maafisa wa polisi wa mpakani wanataka serikali kuwapa bunduki mpya ili kukabiliana ipasavyo na magaidi kwenye mipaka ya taifa hili. Akiongea katika kaunti ya Makueni wakati wa hafla ya mazishi ya Fidel Kimuyu afisa wa mpakani ambaye ni mmoja wa maafisa watatu waliowaga dunia baada ya gari lao kukanyanga bomu la kutegwa ardhini katika kaunti ya Garissa naibu kamanda wa polisi wa mpakani Aisa Klima alisema bunge linafaa kuhakikisha maafisa wa mpakani wanapata silaha za kisasa ukienda hili sile hili sinaendelea ukitembea na gari na kwambia hapo mbele 50 meters kuna kitu ni hapa chini hata si mgeni tu kwa Yesu tukisaidia nao wa Yesu wetu kwa hivyo niwaambie tu tutoe silaha kutosha sisi wenyewe tuko tayari kupambana boda yetu ya Kenya ile hatari sana na sisi na Somalia pia wanajeshi wakuwe pale na niko na hakika wako na hiyo ikupe ni wanajeshi wasaidiane na ofisa wetu tutapoteza mwingine jana ambaye anatoka Machakos na sasa tunaambia serikali hatuta ngoja kupoteza mwingine. Wewe si tuma mtu aende kazi na ile silaha umempatia ni mwili yake. Hiyo lazima tukosane sana. Na si kusema serikali ndio imefanya mabaya sana lakini lazima tuangalie tukifanya budgeting priority ni nini. Hatuwezi tuma mtu waende watuchunge pale ili sisi tulime na tunawatuma bila ile silaha inaitikana ili wapate protection. Ben Chumba Darubini